Tyler from Ventures TV out from the UK. Uh -huh. How are you finding out in Paris so far, man? It's been cool. The accent hard, by the way. Yeah. I like the accent. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's London, hard. Isn't it? Hard. <laughs> in it, in it, bruv. <laughs> How's it feel to be in Paris? It's cool. I'm enjoying myself. First time for you? First time. First time. I enjoy it, though. It's nice. So what did you enjoy the most? The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. I got to see it in person. I never thought of doing that as a kid. You know, being from Fayetteville, so that was dope for me. You thought it was bigger or smaller? Say that one more time. You thought it was a bigger tower or smaller tower? Nah, it's, big, it's, it's a bigger tower than what I expected. Is it, uh, are you able to reflect on the fact that your basketball journey is taking you overseas in the moment, or is it something that it's hard to appreciate you know, while you're in it? Nah, I take time out. I take time out and reflect on it. Um, you know, I got people that tell me like, Man, that's major you doing this, or it's dope to see you doing that. Like, they, they try to live through me, you know what I mean? So I try to embrace the moment every time I'm here and uh, take pictures and things just to show them my folks back home. And speaking of that, you got the NBA Cares after this. How have you, in your basketball journey, seen the sport as a way to connect with different people and different cultures? Uh, it just brings everybody together. You know, sports is like... It, it bring everybody together. It don't matter if it's baseball, football, basketball. It don't matter what your race, religion is. You know, everybody can come together and enjoy sports and put all the BS to the side. So uh, I'm thankful for that. The team is struggling a little bit with uh, a lot of losses. Do you think it can be a fresh start with this special week in Paris and you can find a new chemistry or something like that in a special context? Um, I mean, when the ball go up, I don't know if we're going to be worried about being in Paris. You know, it's go time. Like I've been saying for a good minute now, we got to come out as desperate. Uh, this is a must-win game for us. Every game is a must-win, so we're not treating this any different. Uh, and count on the record, so we got to go out there and treat it like that. Is it a... You've played uh, with the Salah Mejri, the only Tunisian guy in uh, Dallas. Uh -huh. What do you think about him? That's my dog, man. I miss Salah. <laughs> he was cool in Dallas. Me and Doe played with Salah for a little minute. So uh, he's a great teammate, good to be around, and he was a hard worker. ESG, your shoe game always goes hard. Oh, what, yeah. You got anything lined up for this weekend or for tomorrow night? Nah, nah, nah. Just, um, just rocking with the Kobe's. I ain't doing nothing crazy. It's a business trip for me. Mm -hmm. Ethan, you say to you, France and basketball, what do you think? French basketball, Tony Parker, Tony Parker. Tony Parker, just Tony Parker? It's a lot. Fournier, uh, Frank, Killian Hayes, Victor. I don't know if I'm missing. Oh, Gobert. Mm. Rudy Gobert. That's it. But Tony Parker is for uh, U.S. basketball player. Uh, the main topic when we speak about France and basketball, he, he did something very special uh, in the NBA that you remember him? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think Victor done took that over now, though. When you talk about French basketball, you're probably going to think of Victor first now. But, uh, yeah, Tony Parker, everybody know he was that guy, man. He got a, had a hell of a career, future Hall of Famer. Do you understand why everybody is crazy about Victor here in France, about what he's doing now for his rookie year? I haven't got to see him in person, but just from what I've seen on the Internet and uh, watching his live games, I see why the, um, why the hype was there. He's special. After 16 games in 29 days, you kind of have this break in the schedule even though you're traveling. Do you view that as a positive or are you guys feeling kind of antsy to get back on the court and, and correct some mistakes? It's a mix of both. It's a mix of both. You know, it's a, it's, it's a fine line of enjoying this and also making sure that you stay locked in. We had two really good days of practice. Um, yesterday we came in, got up and down a little bit, got after it. Today was super high energy, everybody locked in. Um, no wait, no no reps was wasted today. So that's major for us going forward. And considering you don't really get to get up and down during the season often, mm -hmm. do those, in your experiences, those sort of rare practice days, how do those kind of help a team out in the middle of the season? Um, it's good to go out there and, you know, get after each other a little bit. Um, everybody hitting each other. Uh, it's just like football, you know, you get a day when you get to go out there and throw your pads on, you know what I'm saying? You get to let some steam off. So it's kind of the same thing. We had a good day yesterday, really good day, highly competitive, and we got to carry that over whenever we see somebody else uh, with different uniforms on. Dennis, uh, you have obviously, like, lots of experience in the league. How do you approach trade deadline? I mean, is it something that's um, ner nerving somehow for you, or are you calm? 
come before such thing? I don't, I don't really worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got traded my second year in the league at the deadline, so it's not like uh, it's not like it's any kind of nervous territory for me. You know what I'm saying? I've been here before, and I understand. I ain't got no control over it, so I just come out here and do my job for the Brooklyn Nets, and whatever happens, happens. But uh, you know, I'm happy where I'm at. Um, basketball related. You guys are currently in the tenth seed in the Eastern Conference. Are you, like, are you guys looking to like get into the postseason come come April? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, thank you. Thank you.